This is the grave of 11-year-old James Chaffins, who passed away in 1865. He is one of many children that was born to Nathaniel and Polly Chaffins. Some of you might remember a video that I posted this last fall cleaning his mother Polly's grave, um, or another video of his sister Lucinda's. His mother and sister are buried just one row in front of James. I cleaned them all at the same time, um, but came a few back a few months later to reset the stone. So as you can see here, um, I'm cleaning his stone, but this is a couple months later. Um, James has a really beautiful white marble tablet stone. And as you can see, it sits into a slotted base. These stones are, are pretty thin, just a couple inches thick. Um, and they sit into these slotted bases and they are supported with a, a lime mortar in a traditional way. Um, a lot of people will put concrete in there. Uh, it's not the right move. Um, it actually caused damage to the stone, but um, this one was leaning back really hard. You couldn't see it here in the video, but it was leaning back on quite an angle and it puts a lot of pressure on the lower part of the stone. And so you see a lot of these types of stones will break off um, on the lower part. And so what I'm doing here is I'm uh, redoing this base with a, a traditional lime mortar. This particular mortar is from Otterbein. It's a German company. It's a historic pointing mortar course in nature and it's pre-blended so you can see I just needed to add the water to it. Uh, mix it into like a think about it like a peanut butter type consistency and then put it in. I'm, the concept here is that this mortar is sacrificial in nature so uh, it is meant to be lighter weight and softer than the stone around it and we all know that marble is a, is a, is a pretty lightweight stone not as durable as what you see in granite so um, a lot of people will make the mistake of using um, um, a modern cement um, and they'll just take you know a puddled wet cement and then they'll just dip that stone into it and then the cement will essentially permanently bond to the stone and that, that causes all sorts of problems that we don't need to get into here but basically cement in a in a cemetery is really not the best move for historic stones. Um, you can certainly create a cement base from it, but puddling um, a marble stone into wet cement will just cause lots of problems. Um, you can see here that I, I um, stood this stone up and got it plumb, and then it, you just let it sit overnight um, for it to set up, and uh, then you're able to take these um, supporting pieces off, and uh, it'll it'll you know, set up nicely. The mortar is meant to be sacrificial, as I said, so this isn't going to last forever. This is not a forever repair, um, but it's meant to protect the stone in case if there's impact. So if something impacts the stone, the mortar is meant to give away rather than having the stone break.